ceasefire, a word that Palestinians have been crying out for months as Israeli strikes target Gaza, may be within reach. Over the weekend, Vice President Kamala Harris became the first Biden administration official to publicly call for Israeli and Hamas forces to lay down arms in the conflict, sparked October 7th when the Palestinian militants launched a killing spree in Israel. And given the immense scale of suffering in Gaza, there must be an immediate ceasefire. For at least the next six weeks, which is what is currently on the table. That deal comes with conditions. On Monday, White House officials told reporters that Hamas is still mulling Israel's proposal, which includes the release of hostages. The administration declined to discuss details of negotiations. But this debate over Gaza's fate is very public. On Monday, as Harris met with a member of Israel's war cabinet, a small clutch of protesters gathered outside the White House to voice their discontent. Maybe just they want to buy time for the election? This is not a, it's a game. It's a game. We don't buy it. Analysts say while it's significant that Harris threw her weight behind the critical word, her words may also come with conditions. But it's also important to take a look at how she qualified it, because the administration for some time has been saying that they're looking for a ceasefire, but it's within a specific deal that they want that to take place in. If her call is simply a reiteration of that, then the only significance that comes with it is the fact that for the first time, a senior administration official has actually managed to accurately and appropriately express empathy with victims on both sides of the conflict. And then there's another question, when the White House itself is asking, will Hamas, which the U.S. has designated as a terror group, take the deal to stop an assault that has killed tens of thousands of civilians? The demands that have been expressed so far by the administration, which is the release of all hostages in return for a six-week ceasefire, I find unlikely to be accepted by Hamas because they're essentially giving up all their leverage for only a temporary uh, end in the fighting rather than a more permanent state. So I think that's going to be a very tricky thing. Will the smoke clear by the start of the holy month? Or will there be more?